Before it was released in 2015, no one, not even Lionsgate, could have predicted how successful John Wick would become. The film generated $86 million at the box office, a great return for a wholly original movie. It also spawned two sequels with a fourth movie in the franchise set to release on March 24th, 2023. But what has director Chad Stalski been saying about the movie? Is there a potential spin-off in the works? Stay tuned to find out. First, who is Chad Stalski? Originally, Chad Stalski was an American stuntman, although more recently, he's known for directing every film in the John Wick franchise. No wonder the movies have such incredible stunts and choreography. Chad knows exactly what it takes to create something amazing on screen. During his time as a stuntman, Stalski worked on many popular film sets, including Deadpool 2, The Hunger Games, and The Expendables. One of his most famous jobs was on the film The Crow, where actor Brandon Lee tragically died in a similar accident to the one that led to Helena Hutchins' death in late 2021. On The Crow, Chad Stalski was brought in as a body double for Brandon Lee after the actor passed away. Stalski actually met Keanu Reeves for the first time on The Matrix, where he worked as the actor's stuntman. He continued to collaborate with Keanu on the sequels, where he worked as a martial arts stunt coordinator and doubled for Keanu in extreme shots. The two have worked together numerous times, most notably on the recent John Wick franchise. So we know who Chad Stalski is, but what has he been saying about the upcoming John Wick film? Well, he's actually been saying a lot about it, so let's break it all down. When talking about the film currently titled John Wick Chapter 4, he stated that it is a good continuation of the franchise and may actually be a conclusion to the series. It will undoubtedly follow on from the events of the third film, which ended with Wick being shot and left for dead, only to be saved by Lawrence Fishburne's Bowery King who offered Wick assistance in getting revenge against the high table. When asked about the movie, which has been in production for three years, thanks to COVID-19 and Reeves' commitment to the Matrix Resurrections, Stalski said, We introduce a ton of new characters that have a lot to say about John Wick from this past and from, obviously, present. I think it's brotherhood. It's hope. It's what life would really be like as a bit of an existential crisis with John, and I think that's part of the fun of the movie. That's how it's ending, but there's a good conclusion to an emotional thread that we've already had. The statement came after footage from the film was released at CinemaCon in April. Event goers got to see Wick back in action, utilizing nunchucks and fighting alongside the Bowery King. Reactions to the footage were largely positive, with people excited to see the franchise once again raising the stakes. The trailer has since been uploaded to YouTube, so you can take a look. The extent to which the film will actually be a conclusion for John Wick and the franchise is yet to be seen. Lionsgate had previously greenlit a fifth film in the franchise, with the two supposedly being filmed back to back. However, these plans were scrapped when COVID made filming the fourth a nightmare. As a result, the future of the franchise is currently up in the air. Stalski also teased that John Wick Chapter 4 will be the longest in the franchise. Quote, it's longer than the other three, but not that long, he says. By looking at the previous movies, we can see roughly how long the runtime is going to be. John Wick Chapter 3, Parabellum, is the longest in the franchise so far, clocking in at 131 minutes, just over two hours. If what Stalski says is true, you can expect Chapter 4 to be around two and a half hours. What will make up that 150 minute runtime? Stalski has assured us that the extra runtime will be used wisely. Talking to Variety, he stated that he has a deep love for mythology and went into how he views the John Wick franchise. He said, I love a good myth. I don't really believe, at least for the John Wick movies, in a three-act structure. I believe in storytelling and leaving it. He went on to then say, You know, we've always seen John Wick as Odysseus, so we take the time we need to tell the story. As long as we don't fall asleep watching it, we keep going. If you don't know who Odysseus is, he was a legendary Greek king and the hero of Homer's famous The Odyssey. He was strong, smart, and could escape or survive virtually any obstacle. That really does sound a lot like John Wick. Not only will the film contain more mythology, but Stalski also joked that ninjas, which were at the forefront of Chapter 3, will feature heavily in Chapter 4. When asked how he can one-up ninjas on motorcycles, Stalski said, Ninjas in cars, I guess? It's always ninjas, man. It's safe to say that we're going to be seeing a lot more of them in the next film. We can also expect plenty of new characters in the film. A whole host of new actors have joined the film's cast, like action legends Donnie Yen, Scott Atkins, and Mark Zerer. Other new castmates include Bill Skarsgård, who portrayed the terrifying Pennywise in the recent It films, 
Hiroyuki Sonata, and Shamir Anderson. Perhaps most notably is the addition of legendary actor Clancy Brown. Well known for his imposing and authoritative roles. For example, he played Captain Hadley in the incredible legendary movie Shawshank Redemption. We can't wait to see his role in John Wick Chapter 4. Because of the success of the franchise, people have been speculating about potential spin-offs. Well, it looks like there's going to be one coming sooner than you think, and the project even has a title, so don't go anywhere as we reveal all. In John Wick Chapter 3, Parabellum, we were introduced to the director, a villain who grooms and trains young ballerinas to become assassins in the same facility where John Wick was trained. Recently, it's been revealed that one of the ballerinas turned assassins will be the main focus of a spin-off, as they try to get revenge on those who killed her family. The title's film? Ballerina. I know, not very original. However, none other than movie superstar Anna de Armas has been confirmed to be playing the dangerous dancer. Having already seen a taste of her action skills in one of the best sequences in the most recent James Bond film, No Time to Die, expect this spinoff to be full of non-stop action that the John Wick franchise is known for. We cannot wait to see her in the John Wick universe. While no release date has been revealed as of yet, the movie did recently begin filming. With John Wick Chapter 4 released in March next year, expect a ballerina release date later in the year. Other than Ballerina, a Stars TV series focusing on the earlier days of The Continental, the series' most famous assassin safe haven and hotel is also in the works. The lore surrounding the assassin's underworld that these movies have created is one of the main reasons why they're so successful, so it's unsurprising that they're being explored further in spin-offs and other projects. Expect plenty more John Wick content in the years to come. In other news, the main star of John Wick, Keanu Reeves, recently made headlines, but not for a film role. While filming a documentary in Northamptonshire in the UK, Keanu Reeves met James Roadnight in a hotel bar. Speaking to his local newspaper, James said that he invited Keanu to his wedding reception later that day, but there was no pressure. The offer for a drink was there if he wanted it. James thought nothing of it, but was later extremely surprised to see Keanu actually turn up. James and whose new wife Nikki said that Keanu was extremely polite, taking photos with people and congratulating the lucky couple. What a guy. Keanu Reeves has actually popped up in multiple places across the UK recently, including the recent Silverstone GP, where he was interviewed by Sky. If reports are anything to go by, he's currently working there filming a documentary on Braun GP's F1 championship winning year of 2009. Maybe he's there for the next John Wick film, or another of his upcoming projects, such as BRZRKR, Berserker, a live-action adaptation of a comic series written by Keanu himself alongside Matt Kint. Who knows? That's it, all we got time for today. Who else is excited for John Wick Chapter 4 and the upcoming spin-off Ballerina? We certainly are. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like and comment. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.